primary care physician here in Boston. I practice primary care at Mass General Hospital. When you don't have insulin to process the sugars in your bloodstream, dangerous acids are building up, you're getting sick, you start vomiting, you start vomiting so hard as two of the patients we saw at Mass General did that you tear your esophagus. If Sanofi, Eli Lilly, and Nordisk, Novo Nordisk really wanted to help, they'd make insulin affordable. I'd say free. I'd say free. Yeah. But they certainly wouldn't do helplines and prior authorizations and a bureaucracy. My name is Deirdre, and I'm an insulin dependent type 1 diabetic from the Boston area. We call on Eli Lilly and the three legged monopoly to cease and desist killing our fellow diabetics with their appalling greed. We call on them to put patients over profits. Right. And we call on them to do it now. My name is Tim Patterson. I wish that I could say that I am happy to be here. My daughter died on Christmas Day last year. She was rationing her insulin. She was waiting for a paycheck and she was starting a new job the week after Christmas. My son was there the day after she died and he said, I never will forget seeing the Christmas tree with the presents underneath it that will never be opened. going to tell you about Alec, Rayshawn Smith. You may know of his mother, who's a reluctant hero in this fight. Alec died at home alone because he could not afford his insulin, and his blood is on your hands. I'm here to tell you about Jesse Lutgen. He was 32 years old. Jesse died because he could not afford his insulin. Jada Renee Lewis was 24 years old, loved the performing arts, and had a job at a local movie theater. Her blood is on your hands! Her blood is on your hands! Kayla Davis was 28 years old. Her blood is on your hands! Her blood is on your hands! I speak for Josh Wilkerson. Josh was 27 years old. His blood is on your hands! Micah Fisher was 26 years old and had aged off his father's insurance plan. His blood is on your hands! His, his blood, blood is on your hands! Jesse David Cher, right down here, was a 21-year-old, worked two jobs to support himself. His blood is on your hands! His blood is on your hands! Shane Patrick Boyle was 48 years old. He started a GoFundMe campaign but ended up $50 short of what he needed. His blood is on your hands! His blood is on your hands! Monique Gabrielle Moses, 26 years old. We just found out about her death on Wednesday, three days ago, on World Diabetes Day. She died because she could not afford her insulin. Her blood is on your hands! Her blood is on your hands! No more diabetics dying because they cannot afford their insulin. I lost Antavia on April 26, 2017 due to rationing her insulin. I have another daughter. She's 19 years old. She'll be aging off the same insurance in one and a half years. And I am fearful that the same thing is going to happen to her. Antavia blood is on your hands. Her blood is on your hands. Her blood is on your hands. Her blood is on your hands! Her blood is on your hands! Went to the drugstore, showed my prescription. I saw the fountain, had a prescription. we
forced to ration, and we are dying. Pharma don't care for you and me. Patience over profit. Patience over profit. Patience over profit. Patience over profit. Patience over profit.